I really love coming to the Drakensberg and uh, my last trip down here, I rode out of my accommodation straight onto a piece of single track. I um, followed the single track to the trailhead, which was all out adventures, and met Chris, a super passionate mountain biker, and just struck up a relationship, and um, Chris took me on a ride, and I was just completely blown away by the trail network here. One of the reasons I'm able to survive in the city is being able to get to beautiful places like the Drakensberg. So as much as I love going to remote places, I am still a city slicker. And one of the things I liked about the track emo when I found it was that people could track me and know where I was. And if I got into trouble, I've got a nice feature to, to let people know where I am and potentially come and help me. What makes track emo so unique is that it's a personal tracking device. The device is valuable to mountain bikers because you can press the SAS button within one or two seconds. And in an emergency situation, you really don't have more than that. You don't have time to get your phone. The people who receive the SAS alert would generally receive it by SMS. That's the most practical way. And they would receive the location of the device. They would then be able to log onto a map and see exactly where the device is and they could track that device then on your tablet, on your smartphone, and follow where it's moving. In the early 70s, there wasn't any mountain biking to be done, and I think BMXing was just hitting the scene. I would get this roll fast, and we would take the, the sissy bar and the banana seat off and the high-rise handlebars and whack on a pair of motocross bars and an English racing seat. After spending five years uh, working on an architecture degree, uh, I started parking cars so that I could get a ski pass. For 10 years, I, I was teaching skiing at a high level in, in Vail, Colorado. On the slopes, I met a bunch of South Africans, one of which was my current wife and uh, we decided after two years of living in the States is to, is to come for a visit and um, yeah, the visit has, has turned into 15 years. Montusi was just being started. One of the things with the kids out here is you have to educate them. The opportunity to build our own school at the Royal Drakensberg. From the earliest of the meetings, I can remember us. What are we going to do? How are we going to fund this thing? And I said, well, let's do a big mountain bike event. And that'll, and that's where, you know, kind of the impetus of a, 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 an organized trail system started. Two, three years after our first race, I said, let's link all of the resorts. And how cool would it be to have, wherever you stay in the Northern Berg, a mountain bike track right out your side your door. You can hop on the trail, buy a pass at your resort, and, and go. And so there was, there was a bigger reason there, you know, to share the extraordinary beauty and really cool riding with the people that come to visit. Some of my earliest childhood memories of going away on holiday was coming to places uh, here in the Berg and Montusi where we've stayed is, is just a, a classic beautiful Berg resort. It's got one of the best views that we've ever seen with the amphitheater as a backdrop. The hospitality has been amazing. Chris and his team from All Out Adventures have uh, taken us out on these trails. I think like 120 kilometers of trail around the Northern Berg is just exceptional. And there's been some, some pretty tough riding, I must be honest, you know, there's some places where we've had to carry up a ridge for a while, but, but the reward is just amazing. The trails, the way they flow down these ridges and through the valleys, and if you want to have a really awesome bike life experience, then this is a great place to come and ride your bike. Big mountains, amazing trails, great places to stay. It really is something to have on the bucket list and, and I'm stoked that I've come out and enjoyed this.